that shakes the key, I guess, a little bit. Other than that, dead quiet from the base uh, on the outside. Pretty loud inside. Um, I singleton to the rear deck, so I'm gonna guess. Uh, I haven't metered it, but I mean, it's probably a 37 in there. Uh, plays down to about 29, and very articulate. Playing up to about 55, maybe 57 range uh, before it falls off. Uh, so, damn near a full octave. Uh, and pretty loud. So, pretty happy. I'm sure the customer is going to be happy. Looks like it's shaking the trunk arms when it's. And it just like a bunch of rust in the in the deck lid or in the trunk lid. So that's it. The air tank is under the round cover you see here. Woofer. Amp, an amp behind each side panel. Uh, and the base amps also on the behind the side panel over there. I got all the panels to lip up underneath the stock rubber. Uh, so it's completely finished trunk. Um, every Every little edge that you can see uh, is finished, so everything lifts up. Went as close to the trunk latch as I could. There's a there's actually a big old mechanism <laughs> that has to latch onto it, but I just made my panel just the right height so that doesn't touch it. Um, the bottom panel comes out. And the uh, battery's actually been relocated to where the spare used to go. <clears throat> so, bottom panel comes out and you can access all the fusing and uh, pull the battery out if needed. Uh, the round panel comes right off to access his air tank and all of the uh, air fittings and fusing and all that for that is down there. So, that's it. Uh, next, he's coming back to rebuild the doors. Uh, previous shop had actually built the door panels. All I did was install our speakers into them. So we're gonna rebuild the doors. Uh, a full full door build, new kicks, um, a full custom center console. And I'm hoping to do a color change. I really hate the color. <laughs> but uh, luckily it's not my car, so we'll uh, I think we're going to do a new dash right now. It has one of those cheap plastic dash caps over the stock dash because all the cracking. Um, it's a 6 liter LS swap. Uh, that's in here now. I don't know. It makes over 400 wheel. I know that. <laughs> Next, he's going to get a 6 speed uh, Tramec put into it. And uh, that'll be done by Speed Engineering here in Fresno. Buddy Steve of mine. And uh, let's see what else. So, built 6 liter, exhaust, brakes are done, it's got air tech, uh, air, like, air shocks, I don't know if it's really an air shock, more like a strut bag really, but uh, all the way around, disc conversion all the way around, it's got gears, posi, uh, like I said, full exhaust, and it's a built car. <laughs> It's kind of neat. And uh, guy's name's Ron. Pretty cool dude. He likes to stop by every single day and uh, see my progress and all that. So he actually hasn't seen it completely put together yet. He kind of misses it. Uh, or I do it on 